Alex Smith's Washington football team was trailing by two scores and his leg was bleeding. Not just bleeding, but gushing. Smith had taken a cleat to his shin, causing blood to spew down his leg, drenching his sock and staining his ankle tape with the same type of discoloration that made a certain Boston Red Sox pitcher's postseason performance memorable. Like that pitcher, Smith made the most of the moment, overcoming the wound to lead his team to an unlikely victory and end the undefeated run of the league's last unbeaten team. Smith finished with a passing line of 31 of 46 for 296 yards and a touchdown, with the majority of those yards coming in a furious second-half rally that saw Washington, 5-7, put up 13 points in the final quarter to overcome what was once a 14-point deficit and stun the host Steelers, 11-1, 23-17. I could visually see the blood pumping out, so it was a good one, Smith said afterward, via ESPN. I was lucky to have it happen just before halftime. I've never had one gush like that. The location of the laceration was important for Smith, who once nearly lost his life as a result of complications stemming from surgery required to repair a gruesome right leg fracture that forced him out of the sport for nearly two years and required 17 separate operations to save. Fortunately for him, the cut came on the opposite leg, allowing Smith to simply receive half-time attention to address the ailment before continuing his comeback efforts. Washington is fortunate, as Smith's presence helped spark the second-half rally that kept the football team in the thick of the NFC East race. I had to do a quick check to make sure it was my left leg versus my right, a little more concerned with my right leg, Smith explained afterward, via ESPN. It was a new one for me, it was a bit of a gusher. Luckily, it was right before half so we were able to tape it up and then get in at half time and take care of it. So, nothing serious, just hit the right spot and kept bleeding. Injuries are nothing new to Smith, who has lived enough football lives to fill multiple careers. That experience proved valuable in a key sequence at the end of the first half, in which Smith exited the field with the normal game ball in his possession, creating an unintentional delay with officials, who were trying to locate the kicking ball in time for Dustin Hopkins to attempt a 49-yard field goal with the clock ticking toward triple zeros. The confusion gifted Washington a fourth timeout, and Hopkins drilled the kick to bring the score to 14-3. The points ended up being incredibly important in the eventual one-score finish. I wish I knew it was going to happen like that, Smith explained afterward. For me, I was just trying to get the offensive football off the field. I knew the K-ball would be coming in, I knew we were going hurry up field goal. I was just trying to speed up the process by running our football off. IDIDNT know it would turn into what it did. Luckily, it worked out in our favor. <laughs>